Okay, in this video I'm just going to show you how you can use uh, Google Maps in Revit to give you some kind of basic information in terms of uh, geographical location and things like that. Um, what we're going to do is um, we're going to have a look at LIT here, and this is our campus. So it's Moilish campus, as you can see. And what we're interested in is this area here in particular, where the canteen is. So easy enough to find on Google Maps and all the rest. But what I need now is uh, some way of figuring out how big this is. So luckily enough, Google Maps has given us a measurement tool. So we right click and we can click on measure distance. So it says drag to change, uh, click to remove. So click, click, and it's drawn out this um, scaled measurement for me. So that's going out to 50 meters, which is pretty much ideal. The next thing we need to do is get this into, uh, well, into a PNG or something. So I was going to fire up the snipping tool, so a new rectangular snip, and I'm just going to get our area of interest there like that. So having got this, we're going to do is save it. So there's another previous version of it there. So I'll call this map 2. Uh, PNG, click save, and that should be pretty much all we need to do there. So I'll just minimize those. And now I'm popping back into Revit. So in Revit itself, what we're going to do is we're going to insert this in. So we're going to insert an image. And there's my map2.png. So I'll click open on that. And that gives me the crosshairs for placement. So if I pop it in there, there it goes. Now, um, we still don't know what this is in terms of Revit's view of the world. So a very quick and easy way to figure out how big it is is just dropping in a wall. So I've got a wall now. I'm just going to draw a wall out from the center to there. So, uh, yeah, it's roughly center, not to do. So what I'm going to do now is have a look at the properties of this wall and see how big it is. So it's reading uh, 10 meters, 10.76 10 meters. Um, so what I need to do now is try and figure out, well, how much do I need to scale that image by to make that 50 meters? So if I pop into my calendar, sorry, calculator, what I can do is divide 50 meters by 10, 7, uh, 6, 0. I hope so. Let's double check over there. Yeah, 7, 6, 0. So um, click equals on that. And that gives me a factor of 4.64, well, 4.647. Now, what I do from here is I grab the image. So I'll just select the image itself, click on the scale button, and you can see slightly different there, so I'm going to punch in a numeric scale uh, as per this. So we can let's even copy that and uh, just paste it in there. So four and six, that's the number. And having entered that in, oops, hit the wrong button, take that back, hit enter. Uh, that's now in the system. Now what it needs is a base point. So if I click here, it just scaled up. So this is my original uh, wall there. So it's still 10.6. And just as a confirm, I'm just going to draw a wall from there to there, as I did previously, and see how big that is. So wall architectural, roughly around the midpoint there. Bring it out to here and see what it is. So cancel that, grab it there. Wow, it came in exactly at 50 meters. Um, so that is how you do that. Um, very simple, very effective, um, and obviously very fast. Thank you very much.